guys, we are finally in Rome. We are doing all of the touristy things. First thing we're doing is the Colosseum. So let's do it. The Colosseum was built between 70 and 72 AD. Clearly it looks a lot different now because it's been about 2,000 years since they first built it. We're currently listening to an audio tour of the history of this place and these people were wild. Every day there'd be a morning act and an afternoon act. In the morning the games were a little different. There'd be like animals on animals. Sometimes they would have criminals and like prisoners of war here just like thrown to the lions. And then there'd be like 50,000 people just cheering and screaming. It's hard to imagine that that's even a reality but that was just a normal Tuesday here in Rome. Also, I think over 500,000 people died here at the Colosseum, and I think over 1 million animals also died here, which is really unfortunate. But they had a variety of different animals that kind of just like acts of entertainment here. So they had crocodiles, elephants, hippos, like just every animal you could imagine, I think was mentioned. Now people from all over the world just come here to take pictures like it was a magical place, but the history is kind of dark. It looks really cool though. All right, we have seen the entire Coliseum. If you're gonna come, I definitely recommend downloading Rick Steves' podcast app and just getting a free tour guide. The games here at the Coliseum lasted for about 500 years, and in the year 523 AD is when they had the last games here. And then after that, the Coliseum completely shut down and then became home to squatters that built their own apartments and set up their own shops. And then there was even a church here. I think the craziest thing that I learned about this place, in the year 300 AD, you could have been like killed for being a Christian. And then by the year 400 AD, you would have been killed for not being a Christian. It's just like crazy how different the times change in just 100 years. So now we're exiting the Colosseum and going to the Roman Forum. how this looked and just like watch all the people pass by. Guaranteed nobody had cameras back then to record. All there was to do was smoke and kill some lions, I think. So it is the next day, our second full day in Rome, and we are gonna go to the Trevi Fountain. Currently 9.30, it's about a 30 minute walk to get there, so we'll see how busy it is. It's 10 a.m. right now. I'm not really sure how much better it is in the morning, but I would assume maybe like come here the earliest you can, like at 6 a.m. because right now there's already like a ton of people. Ew. <laughs> on the way to a cooking class, a pasta making class. It's an Airbnb experience and it's something we've been dreaming to do for a really long time, so we're so excited. My pasta is gonna be way better than hers. Sure. For pasta, no. For pasta, we just mix. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Take to the left, oh, the camera is here. So cross, 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 yes. and then pin, pinch. Wow. And you have a cute tortellino. <laughs> huh? Hey guys, so that's it for a Rome video. We hope you enjoyed it. We absolutely fell in love with Rome. We actually forgot to film an outro, so we're filming now at our new location, which is the Amalfi Coast. So we're spending a week here and we're really excited. This has been a dream destination for us. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye.